you'll meet various members of the team, including the LVAD specialist nurses who will show you the actual device itself. You may even get an opportunity to meet a patient who's living with an LVAD and get first-hand experience. You'll also see your LVAD surgeon. With regard to what happens after the LVAD surgery, most patients are in hospital between four weeks to six weeks, and that can vary depending on how well the surgery has gone and how frail an individual is. You'll have to go through a process of training with the LVAD, and essentially just make sure that you're very comfortable with dealing with the LVAD and learning how to use it and live with it before you go home. LVAD patients will have to take medicines to thin the blood down in order to prevent clots from forming and blocking the LVAD. These tablets include warfarin and aspirin. Most LVAD patients also continue to take their usual heart failure medication as well. A member of the LVAD team is available to speak to 24 hours a day to advise you. We are here to support you the best we can. Most patients feel happy about going home, but some may have a few concerns. In order to increase your confidence about going home, we will gradually get you ready to leave hospital. Some patients are concerned about feeling embarrassed in public with the LVAD fitted. These trips will help you to get used to any questions people may ask and help you realise that most people do not even notice the LVAD. If you are very concerned about going home, please tell us. We can arrange for you to see a psychologist who will help you to address your concerns. We will ask you to come back to Harefield Hospital for regular follow-up appointments as an outpatient to see how you are doing. Your first appointment is usually two weeks after you have left hospital and we will book this before you leave. Please call us each week to let us know how you are doing unless you have an outpatient appointment that week. You need to make the following checks every day and keep a record in your medication book which you will be given prior to discharge. Take your temperature. If it goes above 37.5 degrees, you should contact the VAD team immediately. You may have an infection and this is usually treated with antibiotics. We may need to take a swab, a urine sample and or a blood sample to confirm whether or not you have an infection. Weigh yourself. Tell us if you lose or gain weight quickly. Weight gain over a short period of time can be a symptom of fluid retention or heart failure and needs to be investigated. Look at the colour of your urine. If it becomes red or very dark brown, tell us. Keep an eye on the watts, the power on your LVAD. If you notice the watts increase when you are sitting down and the watts stay high, contact us. Changes in the colour of urine and or an increase in watts on an LVAD can be a sign that there is a blood clot in the pump. This can stop it from working properly. If this happens, you may feel as though your heart failure symptoms are returning. After your VAD has been fitted, you will have a permanent wound where the driveline exits your abdomen. The wound will need further dressing and ongoing care. In order to prevent infection, you should not take a shower until the skin around your driveline has completely grown onto the driveline. The VAD team will check your driveline when you come into the outpatient follow-up clinic and issue you with a shower kit once this has happened. Injury to the driveline exit site can lead to an increase of risk of infection. In order to minimise injury, be careful with the driveline and make sure it is immobilised or fixed in place at all times. Try not to pull, twist or bend the driveline. Take care not to drop the controller or place unnecessary strain on the controller's electrical leads. It is important that you protect the external parts of your LVAD from water. It will not be possible for you to take a bath. You will be able to take a shower once your driveline has fully healed. We will check this when you are ready to go home and in the follow-up clinics. You should change your driveline dressing after each shower as this helps minimise the risk of infection. We ask patients not to have more than two showers a week. Many patients have been able to resume sexual relations after having an LVAD fitted. If you are a female patient, please remember that you should not get pregnant because of your medical condition and the drug therapy that you are receiving. You may be allowed to drive after your surgery. This depends on factors including how well you are, how dependent your heart and circulation are on the LVAD, any other medical conditions that you may have. The current advice from the DVLA is, driving should cease on insertion of the LVAD. Relicensing can be considered on an individual basis six months after device implantation. It is important that you contact the DVLA and your insurance company and explain your situation to them. The DVLA may request a medical report about your case from the hospital. 
Most patients find they can exercise well with an LVAD even if they are unwell before the operation. We advise LVAD patients to do some moderate exercise and build up slowly over a long period. The physiotherapist will give an appropriate exercise programme to continue with once you're back at home. It is important that you do not swim or take part in contact sports. You should avoid jumping, exercises that cause impact on your torso and abdominal exercises such as sit-ups. It is very important that you protect your driveline and LVAD equipment during physical activity. You should always discuss any new form of physical activity with your LVAD nurse before you start. Please ask if you would like your physiotherapist to give you more advice on specific types of exercise. Travelling with an LVAD is possible, but it is essential that you involve your VAD nurses and doctors as it will need careful and thorough planning. In particular, you will need to take out appropriate medical insurance and inform the insurance company that you have an LVAD before you travel. You will need to have had your device for at least six months and have had no unplanned hospital admissions in the previous six months. We do not recommend travel abroad in the following circumstances. If you have an infection, if you do not have appropriate travel insurance, if the destination that you plan to travel to does not have a VAD centre that is approved for your device within a reasonable travelling distance by road travel. For further advice, please speak with your VAD nurse. They will also provide you with further information.